here, I just want to point out something that's interesting also, is when we think about uh, South America and how differently it's developed compared to North America, you know, many people have kind of like questioned why isn't there the United States of America in the South? In other words, I mean, look at how many, like how much territory expands the North and all these states are officially united into the Republic, right? And so um, here we have uh, one nationalist or, or, or a would-be nationalist, uh, Simon Bolivar. Um, he was a wealthy young Creole. He admired the French Revolution, um, and he was into the uh, creating, you know, constitutions. Essentially, wanting to make um, a, a united South uh, America. Um, he wanted a unified Spanish America in particular. Um, he eventually gave up on that, and he saw that as a, an impossible task. He said, "America is ungovernable." He's talking about the South, right? Those who have served the revolution have plowed the sea. Um, he's still an inspiration to people like, let's say, in Venezuela right now. They're having the Bolivarian Revolution. That's a whole other topic we'll look into later. Um, and then here's some other factors to consider. So why not the United States of South America and then what kind of nationalism? And one of the major reasons uh, why is... Simply, I think one could argue the geography and the topography make it impossible. I think you might have read in there, I'm pretty sure it's in the chapter, sorry there's a truck going by in my green environment for giving lectures, that uh, a telegram sent from Brazil to Europe could be quicker than a telegram to some parts of Brazil. That's how inaccessible um, some of the parts uh, were, um, you know, whether it's being like mountainous or rainforest and all of that. So these are some of the factors to consider. And again, I'm not having that many lectures, uh, unfortunately, because of what's happened this, this uh, week and that's very unfortunate. But I'm hoping even this little bit might kind of give a little bit of perspective on what you've read and thought. Um, and so, uh, yeah. <laughs>